Welcome back to our Science of Reading series where we introduce you to 3 in 3, three tech tools in three minutes. I'm Lisa Flanders Dick and today we're exploring tools that support the science of reading with a focus on how our brains learn to read. In this episode, you'll learn about two tools that aid all students, including those with foundational skill gaps or cognitive challenges and a third tool that enhances explicit instruction in your classroom. Let's dive into the power of read alouds. Reading aloud to your class exposes them to exciting new vocabulary builds their comprehension skills, and most importantly, ignites a passion for reading. But what about independent reading practice? Here's where Tumble Books comes in. This fantastic free resource is offered by the State Library of Louisiana. You only need a library card to sign up. Tumble Books allows students to access animated talking picture books, and the read aloud functionality highlights the text as it's narrated. Some books even include additional activities such as puzzles or quizzes. Tumble Books is a wonderful resource to keep students engaged and support their reading journey inside and outside of class. Okay, so we just talked about the power of using read alouds for independent reading, but what about visual learning tools? Graphic organizers are powerful tools for helping students structure their thoughts understand complex concepts, and even improve their reading skills. They are exceptionally beneficial for students with dyslexia or other learning challenges, as they provide a visual aid to support comprehension and organization. You may know where I'm going with this. What better way to create your own graphic organizers than with our next tech tool, Canva. Canva is free for educators and offers a variety of pre-made templates to get you started. Or you can build your own from scratch. So we have created a few free templates for you to use in your classroom. Incorporating graphic organizers can make a significant difference in how students process and retain information. A link to the Canva templates are available in the show notes and resources. Our final tool is ScreenPal. Now, this tool was formerly known as Screencast-O-Matic. It is perfect for providing explicit instruction. ScreenPal allows you to record your screen, add annotations, include questions, or even insert links, making your lessons more interactive and engaging. Think about it. You could use ScreenPal to record yourself reading a book. With this particular tool, you will be able to provide explicit instruction during the reading. You have annotation tools to highlight important text. You can insert questions to check for understanding. This provides students with a resource to reinforce their learning and provides additional support outside of classroom hours. I've used ScreenPal for years and found its features incredibly helpful in delivering clear, direct instruction to my students. Now there's both a free and paid version of ScreenPal. So some of the tools are only available with the paid plan. Thank you for joining us today. And I hope that you find TumbleBooks, Canva, and ScreenPal to be valuable additions to your teaching backpack. Don't forget to check out the, the show notes for the links to our Canva graphic organizer templates. Join us next time when we delve into the world of assessment. This podcast was made possible in part by the collaborative effort of the Louisiana Department of Education and Louisiana Tech University through the Science and Art of Teaching Reading Project.